guys, Jamie here and welcome back to Blendly Honestly. And if you're new, hi, hello and welcome and I hope you enjoyed today's video as well. Before we get started, I'm going to ask you guys to do me a huge favor, please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, do me a favor and share this video with your friends so they can enjoy it as well. So today's video is one I am really, really excited to film and share with you guys. This is a collaboration with Gator Bites, which if you guys do not know who Gator Bites is, she's an amazing, lovely YouTuber. She does makeup videos, lifestyle videos, vlog videos, and she also has her dog in a lot of her videos. And I'm telling you right now, Karma is freaking adorable. We both decided to do the audio only makeup tutorial challenge where we both follow a makeup tutorial following only the audio without looking at the video to see what the person is doing. Gator is doing a um, graveyard girl tutorial. I decided to stick with my smaller creators, my micro influencers, if you will. And I chose one of my favorite makeup channels. And that person is Glam by Angelic. And this is her YouTube channel right here. As you can see, she does a lot of beautiful, beautiful looks. Looks that I could never pull off. But, but there was one look she did back in April, and this was before I started following her. I just started following her, I believe, in December, maybe early January. So she is a new channel to me, but I personally love her personality and her attitude. And her makeup looks are amazing. Like, there is a level of artistic nature to her that I could never even wish and hope to achieve. So I hope I can at least attempt to try to pull this look off and to do this look because it is amazing. It is just a slightly simple cut crease, but it is a hot pink ombre cut, cut crease. So let me go ahead and show you a picture of the finished product right around here somewhere. Editing Jen, put that in. <laughs> Alright, so in this video it does show that she used the blood sugar palette. I do not own the blood sugar palette, so I will not be using that palette, but I am going to probably stick with the James Charles palette. I have the Life to Drag, I'll pull that out. Um, what else? You know what, I'm also gonna pull out the Take Me to Brazil palette. This one has a lot of really good pinks in it. So yeah, we'll use those three and See what goes from there and I already told Angelic what I'm doing she knows she's aware so YouTube don't come at me for a false copyright co copyright claim because I have permission from Angelic to do this so so um, I do have YouTube premium so I'm gonna be closing my phone so I can't see the video but I will have the audio playing all right I'm gonna fast forward the video to where she starts the look because she is talking and introducing herself. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump to where she starts. So now I'm going to close my phone and lock it so I can't see what she's doing. And I'm just gonna hit play. So I went ahead and primed my eyes with my P. Louise because she did not prime it in the tutorial. Which that's fine because that means I can use my own base. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started. First shade I'm going to go in with is the first shade in the palette called Glucose. It is a really nice matte white shade. I'm going to place that on the brow bone and drag it down just a little bit because we're going to go in with some harsher colors and I want to make sure that it blends really well. Okay, so she said a matte white, which my favorite matte white is from the Life's a Drag palette. So I'm going to jump into Cake Face right here and I'm going to pick up this is just a blending brush from wet n wild so she said on the brow bone and work the way down okay so we're gonna start on the brow bone and work our way down so I'm going to assume Assume that she means all the way down so the whole lid. Hopefully I'm right and I don't just didn't just mess up this entire look. But then again, it is we do need to set the base, so maybe that is what she meant. I'm going with the shade Crick and I'm gonna use an M513 brush and I'm just going to dust that back and forth on my crease. 
and I'm going to make sure that I blend that out really well. I will just tell you that in the palette, I felt like this color would look like an orangey red shade, but when I started applying it to my eye, it looked like a hot pink shade. Okay, so for the crease, I'm going to use R39 from Morphe, and then she said that it ended up being a hot pink color. So, I'm going to jump into the James Charles palette, but we're going to take Skip. This one right here. She said this is for the crease and she dusted it on there so it's gonna go on lightly. Because of how the colors work in the James Charles palette, I'm gonna pat it in because that's the best way to get these shades to be nice and bold. I'm gonna go in with this E40 just to make sure I blend that out really well before I go in with any other harsh colors. Okay, so now we're gonna blend this out. So I'm going to take, let's take a fluffy blending brush and I'm gonna use, use R38, blend that. But I'm also gonna blend that color up just a little bit so I'm going back in with that M513 with just a little bit more product on there. And I'm just going to make sure that I build that slowly and deepen it up a little bit. My cat's freaking out because I closed the door on her. So if you hear meowing throughout the video, I promise I'm not a horrible cat mom. She was just chewing on stuff and I didn't want her in here right now. I'm going to deepen up that crease a little bit with the shade Cherry Soda. This shade is so beautiful. And as I place that into my crease, that's why my eyes already look darker. So I use that shade and then I go in with this smaller brush on, with that shade Fresh Meat, which is one of my favorite colors in the palette, and I just use it to deepen it up. She said that she darkened it up with darker purple. I'm assuming darker purplish colors. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to pop into Kai Kai from the Light to Drag palette. And I'm going to pick up R35. And we're gonna darken up that crease a bit. So I'm liking this shade because it has a bit of a, more of a purple tint than like a straight pink. So it's doing a really nice job blending it out or a really nice job darkening up that crease. Oh my kitten is crying, poor Nimbus. She gets like separation anxiety when she's not right next to me 24 seven. It's so cute, but it's so hard. Okay, and then the last shade that she added, she said it was called Fresh Meat. And to me, that sounds like it would be kind of like a purpley pink, almost a red pink. So I'm going to pick up the blending brush from Echo Tools. You guys know this is like my favorite brush. I use it in every look. And what I'm going to pick up is this darker purpley pink. And see, it kind of looks like it'll do a good blend. I think that's gonna really do a good job darkening it up a bit. Add that right to the crease. This is looking really pretty. Um, I hope it looks similar to what Angelic had. I hope I said her name right. Is it like, it, I think it's angelic, that's what it looks like. And then just because I want these colors all to blend together real quick, I'm gonna grab this Gretchen Christie blending brush and I'm just gonna blend this real quick, really quick. Just because I feel like there's a lot of pink in there and I don't want it to get kind of patchy. The last shade I'm gonna go in with to deepen this up is the shade Coma. Now I'm just gonna focus this mostly on the outer uh, one third of my eyelid and I'm gonna blend it in towards the center, but I'm not gonna go all the way. I wanna make sure this shade is really nice and blended. I'm gonna drag it up into my crease just a little bit, but not 
not all the way to the inner corner. Okay, so she said that she uses a shade Coma. Um, I don't know what color that is. I don't have this palette, so I don't know what colors are in the uh, Jeffree Star palette. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a red, but I'm gonna take like an orangey red. So I'm gonna take this one from the Take Me Back to Brazil, and it is a very orangish reddish shade. And she said that she focused this on the outer corner. So I'm taking this uh, Moda Pro brush, and I'm just getting a little bit on the tip. And this is gonna go right here. To, I feel like I went way too high to my brows. And then we'll work it down to the crease. That's why I really like this brush because it is pointed. So it, it's really good for darkening the crease. love with how that combination looks. And then of course I'm going to go back in with the Sigma E40 just to blend out any harsh edges. Okay, to blend out the edges I'm going to take this fluffy brush from Morphe, this is R40, and I'm just going to work on those edges a little bit. Next I'm going to take this M170-4SH brush with some Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I'm going to apply that next to my lash line. You guys have seen me do this several times now. I do this because I have hooded eyes and when I look up if I don't deposit my shadows or my concealer as high as what it does right here when I look up, real weird like, uh, then it will deposit itself there later and it will mess up my whole eye look as I go throughout my day. So I want to make sure I go at least that high. And I'm just going to go from the inner corner out towards the outer corner but I'm not going all the way. So I'm assuming she's talking about doing a cut crease. So and it sounds like she didn't go all the way here so I feel like I was supposed to bring my shadow down. So let me pick up that dark color. I'm going to pick up these two colors right here and I'm going to put those on the outer V. And for this I'm going to be using that same BMX-430 crease from Moda. She said it was like, turned out like a dark berry. It's looking more like Pepto-Bismol than dark berry for me. Our looks may end up being sisters and not twins. I'm going to take this flat brush by Wet n Wild and I'm going to go ahead and cut my crease. Then I'm going to go back in with the shade Glucose. This is probably my favorite matte white shade I have ever found in a palette ever. I love it so much. I'm going to go in on an M167 brush and I'm going to start to stamp that and press it into the inner first like one third of our eyelid and I don't want to go above the crease line. Okay so we're going to pick up that matte white again and I want to use a flatter brush for that. So I'm going to take this um, shadow brush from Morph. This is R42. And I'm gonna jump back into the lights of drag and pick up Cake Face. And she said the inner one third of the eye and stay in the line that we put in. So, and we're stamping it, so just press it in. And I'm going to go back in with the shade prick on that 167 brush and I'm going to press it in between the white shadow that we use glucose and the berry shades on the end. Okay, so what do we use? I think we use Skip for prick because she said it was, was like a neon pink. So we're going to pick up Skip and we're going to put that right where the white meets and we're gonna blend that up where the berries up.
I'm just going to use padding motions to get that just as close to my lash line as I can and also to tap it onto the white so that it blends in a little bit better. Okay, blending. I've never used like a, a like a little soft tapping technique to blend, but I mean it's genius, right? Okay, I want to touch up the white just a teensy bit, so I'm going to take this flat brush from ColourPop. And I'm going to jump back into cake face, and I'm just going to go right here. And just do that padding motion she said, so that the pink lightens up. There we go. That looks perfect. Oh, I'm loving this look though, right? That's pretty. Then I feel like it's I feel like I'm missing a shade in between, so I decided I'm going to go ahead and darken up the outer edges first with a little bit more of that coma shade on that M433 brush, and I want to see how it's going to look with this ombre effect. Let's pick uh, R38, and I'm going to take, I'm going to take Snatch from the Lice to Drag palette, this one right here. And I'm gonna put this on the outer corner and kind of blend it the pink of it. Snatched is super pigmented, so I don't wanna to put too much of it. I'm gonna go into the palette and grab the shade Sweetener. And I'm taking this little brush that I got out of this one's Boxy Charm, and I'm just going to take that shade and put it right in between the white shade and the hot pink shade. Okay, so it's going between the white and the hot pink. So I'm going to assume this is like a baby pink. It's called Sweetener. When I hear Sweetener, I think of Splenda. Splenda is super, super like baby pink, right? So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take this shade right here from the James Charles palette. This is Pinky Drinkity. Because she said a small detail brush. So I'm going to take this, what is it called? A BOM-18 detail brush by Omnia. And I got this from Boxy Charm too, so maybe it's the same one she's talking about. So I'm gonna pick Pinkity Gringity. I'm going to blend that into the white and the hot pink. That is just what was needed. That actually does a pretty good job blending the two. It's not a super, super noticeable hot pink or it's pink shade, but it definitely makes a difference. Because I want it to just be a little bit more of a transition, and I'm going to spray it with some fixed colors just to help it go on there a little bit better because I did already cover that with shadow previously, so it's going to make it harder for the shimmer shadow to stick to the eye. Uh, okay, so it's a Shimmer shadow. Shimmer shadow. Say that five times fast. Shimmer shadow. Shimmer shadow. So a shimmer shadow. Eek, I didn't even think about that. Um, let me see. So we have. So we have Sister from the James Charles palette. And then we have Beat from the uh, Lysa Drag Palette. I like how Beat looks better. So I'm going to use Beat. And I don't have Fix Plus, so I'm going to use my Slay All Day Setting Spray from Gerard Cosmetics. So this is going in between the white and the pink. Oh, okay. So the shimmer doesn't take away. I was worried the shimmer was gonna take away from the look. I'm not gonna lie. When she said shimmer, I was like, uh, wait a minute. But it, it works. It looks really pretty. I'm happy I went with feet. 
because it's such a really pretty rose gold. Then I'm going to go back in with that white shade just because I want those two shades to blend together so that you can't hardly tell where they start and where they stop. So we're going to go back in with Cake Face and I'm using a, this is step one for the money from the Vintage. And I don't have a lot of product on this, just a little bit and I'm going to blend that into where that shimmer is at. Then I'm going to go back in with the shade print and I'm going to blend it into that pretty gold shade just like we did with the white and then I'm going to go back in and blend in the really dark coma berry shade just to make it a little more of an ombre look. She says she blend, prick into it. So I'm going to take this really, really small, fine blending brush. And this is from the, um, I bought this from on Wish, it doesn't even have a brand name. So I'm going to pick up Skip, I'm going to blend that into the gold as well. So she went in and blended the berry coat tone, which I was using Snatch from the Life's of Drag. That is so pretty. I can't believe I did that. Like, I followed her directions, but I still did it, you know what I mean? Like. I'm still proud of the look, even though it's not my original look. Alright, so let's see. So she says she was cleaning out underneath her eyes. I'm just going to clean up my under eyes really quick. And then I'm going to go ahead and... Okay, so it sounds like she's going to do her under eyes. So, since I don't have my foundation on yet, I'm going to go ahead and do my foundation. And then I'll be back and I will finish the steps, okay? Okay, so I, I found my ears while I was doing my contour. It was like pushed in the back of my drawer. <laughs> So it looks like she went ahead and did her face. So I finished my whole face. I did do a pinkish um, blush. I used my ColourPop winging it in the shade Whirl. And this one is just a really pretty shimmery purple pink shade. And that's what I'm wearing as a blush. So now that I fast forward a little bit to her finishing her face, and let's listen to the rest of the eyes. Then I'm gonna go with the shade Prick on an R41 and I'm gonna start to smoke out my lower lash line. And then I'm gonna take the darkest color, Coma, and I'm gonna go on a flat definer brush. I'm gonna press that right up against the lash line because I want that to be really nice and defined and I want this to be really, really smoky. Okay, so for Prick, I'm going to take that skip again and we're going to smoke and she said we're going to smoke out the under eye. I want a really, really defined brush for that so I'm going to pick up the Echo Tools brush and I'm going to use the flat end. Put that right there. I hate like doing this part on camera because I always like give you like the zombie eye. <laughs> okay, so for the dark color, I use Snatched from the Life's of Drag, and again, that is this one right here. And I'm gonna use the same brush. And she said she went against the lash line, so. Just to be careful and be sure that these colors stay true, I am gonna blend Skip back into that color. That's pretty, okay. Then I'm gonna take the shade Fresh Mate and I'm gonna use that too blend both of those colors together and just make it look really cohesive but I'm going to take that shade coma back on that 433 and I'm going to blend that towards my lower lash line and just make it look a little more defined. Now I'm going to do my lashes off camera. So to blend these together a little bit more I'm going to pick up that pinkity drinkity and that was this color right here and I'm going to blend that into snatch and skip. Okay. 
that ended up going really, really far down. So I'm gonna take my beauty blender and just smudge it out a bit. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my lashes off camera because I hate doing lashes on camera. So I'll be right back again. So I went ahead and added my lashes and these are the Ardell Demi Wispies. And I also tried to fix my eyebrows. I ended up making them look way too dark. I ignore my eyebrows, they look like crap. But let's see if the video is finished. I'm not sure what else there is left to do now that the lashes are done because it doesn't look she has eyeliner on. And then I'm gonna go in with the Rimmel London Soft Coat in Pure White and I'm gonna use that on my waterline because since this is such a really deep. So since that's not working, I'm gonna go ahead and take Overboard from ColourPop. This is just like a really pretty gold. I've used this before because it's really good for the inner corner of the um, waterline. And I'm gonna line my waterline with this. I wish I had the white. I'm gonna try to stamp the white in there again. Okay. I'm gonna go back in with the shade Glucose on an M508 brush and I'm going to just place that on my brow bone just to make it look a little more prominent because we did just a lot of that away whenever we were doing our eyeshadows. Okay, so Glucose was the white and I'm going to take that same brush that I've been using for the white which is the ColourPop, jump back into Cake Face. I'm also going to take a little bit of that and put it in the inner corner to make my eyes look a little more awake and open. So I'm putting Cake Face into my inner corner and where it meets the pink right here, I'm just kind of patting it so that the two colors really, really blend together. I'm going to mix these two shades from the Kylie Cosmetics Wet Set and I'm going to use that to, of course, highlight my face. This is my favorite highlighter. And I'm also going to take just a little bit of it and place it on those inner corners because this just makes it pop a little bit more. Okay, so I'm taking Beat and I'm going to put that on my inner corner. And then she put some on her cupid bow. I love having that on her actual face. And on her nose. This is such a pretty, pretty highlight blush. I love, I really, really love this shade. It is a super, super versatile shade. And then just a touch on the brow bone as well. Okay, so she's talking about highlighting the brow bone. So I'm going to take this brush from the Vintage and I'm going to jump back into B, which is this one right here, and I'm going to put that on my brow bone. I want to make sure I go in with a really nude lip because I don't want it to take away from the eye look. Since this is centered around Jeffree Star, we're going to use his favorite face mist, which is the Mario Badescu like rose water spray, and we're just going to use that to set our face. So she said she did a very nude lip, and my favorite nude lip currently is Skinny Dip by Gerard Cosmetics. And I don't have the Mario Badescu spray, so I'm going to set my face with the Slay All Day Gerard Cosmetics Cucumber. So this is the finished look. I'm going <coughs> to open up the video and look to see how similar or how different these looks look. I'm, yeah, I'm nervous, I'm not going to lie. Okay, so side by side, you can definitely see the difference. Um, I feel like I went a little bit darker in the corners and I didn't do as big of a gold line on mine as she did. But I mean, I tried, okay? I'm really bad with directions, I guess. But the look isn't completely dissimilar. Like, you can definitely see 
what I was trying to do in how similar they look like the color story is still very very similar like I'm honestly shocked with how similar it looks I was really really worried that it's gonna was going to be like a completely different look than what she did because like that is beautiful that look that she put together is gorgeous and I mean mine is it's almost there, right? Like, uh, I feel like if my gold line had been a bit bigger, maybe. But, I mean, it's close, right? So, what did you guys think? Do you think I did a pretty good job? I mean, I know I went a little bit higher with my blend. My cut crease is not as cut as hers. Good lord, she knows how to cut a crease. I need to practice. Like, I really, really need to practice my cut crease. <laughs> But I'm still happy with how it looks. You can definitely see what I was aiming for. It's pretty, pretty dang close, honestly. Like, and definitely I know, like, it was kind of hard because she didn't say what colors some of the shades were because you don't really think about that when you're doing a video because you have it on camera, on video, like you're pointing at the color. So if someone's watching it, obviously they know that's the color you're talking about. So it definitely makes you think, like, maybe I should say what colors I'm using, you know? Um, so if you guys think I did a pretty good job or decent, let me know down below. Make sure you check out Gator Bites because she is recreating a tutorial from Gray Bear Girl. Her link will be in the description box down below so you can check her video out as well. And if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to join the hashtag Butterfly Squad, make sure you ring my bell because that way you'll be notified every time I upload new videos. And with that, I will see you in the next one. Love you. Bye. And also, Angelic, thank you so much for letting me recreate your look. This is a beautiful masterpiece and I wish it looked half as good as yours.